Welcome back to the Queen's Week in Review show. I'm Bree Driscoll. If you're planning to catch a flick this weekend, you can get a unique international film experience right here in Queens. The fifth annual Queens World Film Festival will be showing more than 100 original pieces from filmmakers across the city and around the world. Here to talk more about this week's festival is executive director Katha Cato and filmmaker Richard Leeds. Thank you so much for bo both joining us Thank today. You. Thank Happy you. To be here. Tell me about this uh, film festival. What can people expect to see uh, this week? You can expect to see something for everyone. There are films from over 30 nations, 117 films, as you were saying. 19 are from Queens, but we have from Somalia and France. We have Germany, Korea, Colombia, Chile, Argentina. Beautiful films, all different lengths, all different genres, all different themes. How do you pick the artists who participate? Well, filmmakers do submit to us, and we're very lucky this year. We had over 400 submissions. My husband, Don Cato, who's the artistic director, he has a screening committee, and they screen, and they screen, and they screen. They're rated. We start to pull films out that maybe don't score so highly. And then he curates the entire festival, and he's really looking for a film that takes a stance, gives us something we haven't seen before, and doesn't back down. Now, Richard, let me bring you in here. Your film is called The Dark Side. Tell me a little bit about the film and what made you decide to submit to this festival? Well, it's a, half, it's a unique kind of film. It's half documentary and half fiction, uh, half a romantic comedy and half uh, documentary around uh, Sandy, the Hurricane Sandy. The comic side, the romantic comedy <coughs> side, is about a guy who falls and butt dials his ex-girlfriend during the summer, who happens to be named Sandy, so he takes this as a sign. And, the, uh, and we began shooting this just after the storm. Uh, that was the fiction side. We got to knew, uh, know firefighters in Queens who uh, helped us out. Uh, and we became involved in documenting uh, what is, in fact, the largest residential fire in New York City since the Civil War, uh, the houses burning at Breezy Point. So the firefighters helped us. So it's got a you know, very unique Queens side to it. Uh, one of the firefighters gave us footage that he shot during the fire, uh, watching his own home and those of his neighbors burn. And it's unique footage and it hasn't been seen anywhere else. Those are a lot of interesting elements to mix together. You know, like when you're talking Hurricane Sandy, you don't really <clears throat> think romantic comedy uh, no. together. So that's a, a unique combination. What made you decide to submit to this festival? Why this in particular? Oh, uh, well, Queens. Uh, it really had a unique Queens element uh, to get the firefighters involved. It's also an international story. Wanted to uh, highlight the fact that uh, a hurricane such as Sandy also uh, uh, so has associations with what's going ar around in the world with climate change. And uh, the Queens World Film Festival has both this unique local element uh, about Queens and also uh, because of the nature of Queens, which brings together the whole world. In, in, um, in one borough, really. Exactly. Let me ask you about that. You know, it's both uh, some local filmmakers and international films as well. How do you bring that together? How do you mix that together in one festival? Well, we do it just like the city does, um, you know, like with like, and then that the dynamism that creates and the friction that creates. And so we, we program the whole festival into thematic blocks. We give it a, a name and a theme, and he's in Bending Reality, and there's another film in there, Test, that um, kind of takes a look at a very dry life of, uh, and test taking. So we think that it's the same friction that we all have rubbing up against each other in, in the borough of Queens and in the city. It's, it's what's happening in the world. We're all on top of each other and we're not listening to each other and because you have a dialect and you have a different perspective and you look differently than I do, um, that's what the world's struggling with. And so the festival is our platform to say, look, it can work. Mm -hmm. I look just like you. I'm, I'm just not you. That's all. And this is the fifth year of the festival. How has it changed over the last five years? Well, we're more confident, and uh, we've strengthened our partnership with the Museum of the Moving Image. We're there all week, not just opening night. And we screened Bitter Sugar la there last night with our Spirit of Queens honoree. We have two screens now at the Secret Theater instead of one. We're still in Jackson Heights. Um, we have five screens going for six days. It's 43 different screening events. Um, the quality is exceptional. Our staff now is seasoned. We're having a great time. It's, it's a fabulous event. A well-oiled machine now. Richard, let me ask you, what is it like to participate with so many different great filmmakers? Do you get inspired when you go uh, to these events? Absolutely. Um, even though film now is shown remotely through the internet and such, it's so vital and important to 
actually meet and uh, rub elbows uh, with other filmmakers and people who uh, love the films, who are passionate about film. It's, it's absolutely essential. It, the festival is, just plays a hugely important role in, in get, giving people the inspiration and the encouragement that they need to make films. And tickets are very affordable, right? Yes, they are. $12 ticket for general and $9 tic dollar tickets for senior and students. And the films go through Sunday, correct? Yes, we do. We're going to have our awards uh, on Saturday night and then on Sunday a series of the Winner's Circle where we will rescreen some of the winning films, the, the best of the fest at the Museum of Mo the Moving Image. I'm the luckiest person in the world. I know, right <laughs> here in our backyard. All right, Katha, mm -hmm. Richard, thank you so much both for joining us today. And if you would like to, more information or to buy tickets and see a complete schedule of showings, you can go to Queen's World Film Festival. Com. All right, time now for a short break, but when we come back, we will introduce you to our Queen's People of the Week. Stay right here.